Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. So in our last video we have seen uh, some examples using shift instruction. Then today we will see the next, uh, no, next instructions that is rotate instructions. So there are four rotate instructions are there. We will see them one after another. The first one is rotate left instruction. Rotate left. The mnemonic is rotate left. This rotate L. Rotate left instruction. What we do? We rotate the content of our operand. The bits of the destination are rotated left, right? We will be, this is left rotation, right? So we will be uh, rotating it to the left and then whosoever is going out, whosoever is going out will take the position of the vacated bit. Means some position will be vacated and some position bit will be going out because we are rotating. So in case of shift instruction, Vacated position was filled up by 0 and going out bit will go to carry and eventually drop. But in case of rotate instruction, your information will be within that operand and whosoever is going out, the going out bit will take the position of the uh, that vacated position. This is how it performs. And one more thing, whosoever is going out it will also occupy the carry flag also. So going out bit will go to two positions. I am doing what? Rotate left. So my bits will be rotating to the left. This is how I will be rotating. So this bit position is going here, right? As well as it will go to the position that is going to be created as a vacated position. Because from this position, bit will go to here. So now no one is there. So that no one position will be taken up by the going out bit, right? This is the difference between shift and our rotate instruction. The bits of the destination are rotated left. The number of bits rotated is determined by the source operand, right? You can give it as an immediate operand, as a count or in a register content, in a count register. The bits rotated out of the most significant bit of the operand go to both the carry as well as least significant bit. This is for left rotation. This is how it is. But in generalized, I have explained whosoever will go out will go to the carry as well as to the vacated position. Right? So depending on the situation and requirement, we'll be using it. 8085 processor uses this instruction. Then we'll take up one example. Say this question is there. The content of register R1 is like this. What will be the decimal value after the execution of rotate L? Means rotating to the left by two bit positions, the register content R1. And we'll assume, our assumption is that the numbers are in two's complement form. If it is in two's complement form, that means this bit is one, that means what? The number is a negative number. We'll see those things later, first we'll do it. So this is my register content, right? Now I will rotate it to the left. So all the bits will go to the left. This going out bit will go to the carry flag as well as to this as well as this to this position also, right? So after the rotate uh, rotate uh, has to come R1, the content of R1 will become like this. So R1 will become, I will show you here step wise. First R1 content will become like this after the first rotation because this one will come here and this one will go there, right? So all the contents I'm writing from here to here as it is and then at the end I'm appending one. This is my resultant after the first rotation. See, whatever is there, I am writing from here, right? Till this one and this one, I am putting it here. So this is nothing but my result, right? This I am getting as a result after the first rotation. What will be the value after second rotation? All the, starting from this zero till this one and then one more one. Because this one will take the position of this going out bit, right? So... To the second rotation the value will become like this right now they have asked us what will be the value in decimal so first we need to decide whether it is a positive value or a negative value obviously it will be a positive value because our msb is zero msb zero indicates what positive number so simply what we need to do we need to find the decimal of this corresponding binary so this is our binary the corresponding decimal will be 91 this is 2 plus 1 3 then 4 is not there, 8, then 16, then 64. If we'll add all this, we'll get positive 91. 
so this is our result this is our answer to this question right so like this any bit pattern will be given to you you need to rotate and you need to tell the value method of doing it is same only then next i am coming to rotate right so this time i'll be rotating to the right that means i'll be moving to the right right so this position will be vacated because this position is going here this position will be vacated so this vacated position will be filled up by the going out bit see this going out bit as well as to the carry flag also this is how rotate right operation takes place the bits of the destination are rotated right the number of bits rotated is determined by the source operand it can be immediate operand or maybe in a count register the bits rotated out of the least significant bit of the operand go to the uh, go both to the carry bit as well as to the most significant because this is right so this is my lsb least significant bit this is my msb right so the least significant bit will go to the carry as well as to the most significant bit position right this is simple right it is similar to my previous one but this time my direction has been changed so if i need to do any example we can do it and, and now we are very much familiar with how to interpret the results if the sign bit is your one then it is negative take the two's complement of the answer then tell the decimal of that binary combination if the result is positive simply tell the uh, decimal of that binary combination putting plus sign as a result, sign of the number next is rotate right to carry instruction this mnemonic is rotate rc rotate rc right so rotate rc instruction what it does it takes into account the value of the carry flag also previously my vacated position is filled up by the going out bit but in this case the vacated position will be filled up by the previous value of carry by the previous value of carry and the carry will be filled up by the going out bit so it is rotating through the carry means who is going out will go to the carry and carry's value will go to the vacated position this is there right rotate right through carry what is the mnemonic rotate r o t a t rotate then r c because i am rotating to the right so i'll be rotating to the right right this position will be vacated this will be filled up by the carry bit right whatever previous value of carry was there now carry is vacant so carry bit will take the value of your this going out bit so once again i will read from here the bits of the destination are rotated right then how many uh, number time now means the number of bits rotated will be determined by the source operand the bits rotated out of the lsb of the operand go to the carry bit and the previous carry bit goes to the most significant bit of the operand whatever i have explained if is for generalized one and this is for rotate right right and this ex uh, explanation was for rotate right hope this one is also clear then the next one is rotate left through carry instruction the mnemonic is rotate lc so see this time also story is same this time my direction is only changed so this time i will be rotating to the left so my bits will be see that uh, it will be rotated to the left and how many number of times i have need to rotate that will be decided by the instruction by the source operand the bits rotated out of the msb right will uh, will go to both the carry bit not not both will go to the carry bit and the previous carry bit goes to the least significant bit of the operand so see once again i'll tell rotate left that means you are moving to the left so this position will be vacated this position will be filled up by the previous value of carry and now carry will be vacated so carry will take the position of my going out bit this is there in case of rotate left so hope this uh, four rotate instructions are clear what we have discussed rotate left rotate right then rotate uh, right through carry then rotate left through carry so this much is there in this video and in the next video i'll start with your process control instructions till then thank you and if you are getting from my explanations then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you